State. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavender with the mid-afternoon update for TFNN. We've got stocks sharply lower. Well, not sharply lower. They're a little lower. Uh, we've got gold down. We've got silver down. The currencies are all up a little or down a little bit because U.S. dollar is stronger. And we had new highs today in crude oil, almost hitting $85 a barrel. Sold off a tiny bit since that level, but not very much at all. The main thing to pay attention to, folks, is these markets are going up and going down all the time. One day up, the next day down. That's a matter of really rolling things over. So you better pay close attention to it because it usually means something. Because when you see something like that unfolding, it's going to be a change in what things or how people are thinking. Folks, you're not going to believe this, but we've had Apple down seven days in a row. I heard on TN CNBC this morning that hasn't happened for 10 years. Can you imagine that? 10 years. It's never gone down seven days in a row. Really, really amazing. So let's keep our eye on the ball because there might be some changes coming in these markets and we're going to be able to see. We see what's happened to Eli Lilly. You know, it's up 22% uh, 20, uh, yesterday, up another percent today. And they're going to be talking about a drug that's for diabetes and also for weight control. I can see the dollar signs flashing in uh, Mr. Hicks's eyes, the CEO of Eli Lilly, because uh, they like to go for the big bucks. And that's uh, that's most probably what they'll be doing. They'll bring it out. It'll probably be something like a dollar a pill and you take four a day for the rest of your life. I shouldn't say that. But anyway, it will be expensive to take care of the fees of research. And they only have a patent for, I think, 22 years or something like that. I don't know what it is now. Years ago, that's what it used to be. But we'll have to, to wait and see. Anyway, pay attention to what's going on here because, you know, we had one of the strongest days in the Dow here the other day. The next day, it was down making new lows. Last night, it rallied really strongly and then made another new low. So where things could be changing there on Wall Street. So let's sort of pay attention to what's going on and you'll have a pretty good idea of what we're paying attention to here at TFNN. Our guest today is going to be none other than our good friend. Uh, holy cow, what happened to the data? Shut the front door. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. 